Hello there. Welcome to another video of the Roland Cloud how-to series. In this video, we'll talk about the test drive of the TR808 software. Roland is offering a test drive, so you can basically download it and use it in your favorite DAW. In this video, we'll talk about how to install it inside your favorite DAW and run it, basically. Keep in mind that you need to have a DAW to run the software. It's not a standalone, it's a plugin. So it only works inside a digital audio workstation. It's very simple. You just need to have a Roland Cloud account, which is free. Just to be clear, the Roland Cloud Manager is a license manager. That's where you can download everything that is Roland software based. Uh, that's where you can actually get sound packs, presets, test drive, which is a cool thing. So there's free stuff. There's also stuff you can buy. There's stuff you can rent. So you can have lifetime licenses. You can rent. If you want to know more about the Roland Cloud Manager and the entire offer that you have in there and how to navigate it, there's a link below because there's another video just about getting around the, the Roland Cloud Manager. But follow me. You'll see it's very simple to get to what we want for the TR-808. So you go on the rollingcloud.com and then you get to this window where you have basically the information of the Rolling Cloud Manager and you go in the download section just below. So either for window or Mac, you download the version, you install it on your computer. When that is done, you have to come back and you have to sign in. You have to create an account in the Rolling Cloud Manager. Put all the information, your name, your address, your email, all that. You're going to have an email to confirm that you're the right person. All that is good. When that is ready, you open your Roland Cloud Manager on your computer, turn it on, and you're going to have this little window to log in. So you type in your information, and then you're in. You have all the latest information about new plugins, new patches, new sound banks. There's a little section here, Test Drive. So you click on test drive and the stuff that you can actually test drive right now should be here. At the moment of me doing this video, the test drive is for the XV5080. But starting on 808 day, you should be able to see the TR808 here to be able to test drive it. In the library, you're going to get at one point, there's everything that you can actually download or buy or rent from the rolling cloud. If I go to TR808, this is the instrument. It's part of the legendary package. It's a software. It takes 60 megabytes. It's very small because it's all algorithms creating the sounds. It's not a sample. And there's a button install. So I'm going to install it. It's going to take time to download and to install. Ask you your password. Look at the same time. While this is installing, look that there's also the TR808 Dark Techno. Uh, Dynamics 808, Modern Hip Hop Beats. Actually, let's just install all of them. Uh, accept and accept. I'm going to get all of them. When that's done, I can actually close the Roland Cloud Manager to use the TR-808 inside Logic. It's very simple. You go into the Inspector window. Click on I to get into the Inspector. You go into the section where you see your instrument. Right now, I've got E-Piano. I click on the two arrows and I select audio unit instrument. Inside this, I've got the Roland Cloud. Inside the Roland Cloud, I've got the TR-808. For now, I'm going to play with the stereo version, but later on in an advanced video, we'll talk about the multi-output. Stereo, bang, your instrument. If you press start, it starts to work right away. It's very easy to use the TR-808 plugin inside Ableton Live. So you go into your plugin section, you get into the folder of the Rolling Cloud, you have the TR-808, you click on the plugin and you drag it onto an empty space. You're going to have a new track with the TR-808 loaded in. You have this little window where you have the panel itself, the traditional looking panel of the TR-808. You've got control over the different sounds here with the level and the toning and the decay. So you can actually tweak some of the sounds here. You have the section at the top left for the pattern selection. You can write your pattern when you're happy with it. You have drum kits you can actually load in. And there's a list. You click here and you see the list of everything you have. And there's different banks that are part of it. Okay, these are the different banks I downloaded. You also have this section edit. When you press edit, you've got now the control over the 
pattern creation. You type in the pattern you want. When you're happy with it, you press right to save it and you can keep it. Bass drum, snare and all that stuff. So if I press play, you can start playing with it really rapidly. Okay. And again, if you select another pattern here, you're, you're changing the whole banks of eight patterns here. And you can also change the drum kit separately without changing the patterns. You can just try this one I like this one that's a cool one you try with dark techno just to see different sounding and again the reason it sounds different is because you can control these value here to change the sound and you've got panel when you press on panel you have more control you've got gain you got pan you got tuning that's why you still have a lot of control to make your drum kit sounds different. Now, there's one thing that is really important and it could be misleading at one point. Remember that the Bolden TR-808 is a beatbox. It's a drum machine. It has its own internal sequencer plus sound generator into one box, the hardware itself. Plugin is the same. This plugin has a sequencer. That's the drum pattern you see at the bottom. That's a sequencer. By default, it is linked to the tempo of the song that is in your DAW. If you go into option and you look here, you've got position locked to DAW. It means that it is locked to time, start, stop, and the tempo of the song. When I press play here, it starts the TR-808. Press stop, it stops it. So it means that what we're hearing is not in the sequence because there's no sequence in my Ableton Live session right now. There's just no sequence. I just have the plugin and the plugin by itself has a sequence. So this is important to understand, but you still can play it. I can just patch a keyboard in and I press the keys. You want to know which keys there are? It's in the help section. You can play the keys from the note 35, 36 will be the bass drum, 37 the rim shot, 38, 40 snare, and so forth. So these are the notes you can play to trigger the sounds of the TR-808 live on a keyboard or a drum machine, whatever it is that sends MIDI, you can actually trigger it, fine. But look, you also have start and stop sequencer. So it's a standalone sequencer inside your DAW. So if you don't want to use it as a separate sequencer, if you want to just use it to play live, you have to go back here and say, well, I'm not going to use position lock to DAW. Now, if I press stop and play, it's not going to play. Now it's waiting for MIDI notes to play. So it gets MIDI notes, it will play. It will play the song that is in Ableton Live. And check this out. If I go into drag and drop pattern as MIDI, and I take my first A, drop it here, I just copied the pattern that was in the TR-808 inside Ableton Live. So you see at the bottom here, I've got the notes playing. If I click this, you have all the notes here. So if I press play now in my Ableton Live, it plays the first pattern that I just copied there. That's it. You get enough information to have fun with it. Test drive the TR-808. If you didn't know why, you'll know why the TR-808 is so loved by people. It's just a fun sounding machine and it's cool to program. Download it, have fun. If you have any questions and comments, put them below. Yeah.